Sometimes you just need to remove a background of a photo to use it properly. Here we go, let's find out in this video how to do this quickly. Subscribe now to support this channel. Hello and welcome to this short GIMP video. I have this photo of a guy giving me a thumbs up and smiling. And his background is very simple. So we're gonna remove this background so we can have a transparent background and put him on other photos or some colored background. I'm gonna show you the steps that I use to reduce that kind of background. First up, I'm gonna use this tool, the Fuzzy Select tool. Let's click it and let's just give it a try and click on the background. And we can see that it is not a solid color and that there is probably compression which is in the way of selecting all the background. So let us increase the threshold down here. I'm just gonna use the mouse wheel, I'm gonna set it to 10 and click again. This looks already quite good. So we have some pixels here, let's shift click here. All right, this area seems to have been taken care of. And now let's, oh, we will not even try to shift click here because apparently this was also included. Now we see a problem here, his uh, white clothes got selected. Here it's looking fine, the blue dress suit jacket is good. His skin and uh, his bolts, oh, there we go, we got some problems here, so we're gonna clean that up. This is all pretty good. Now his beard is a bit of a complicated situation. We're gonna take care of all this. His hand looks fine to me. Yep, yep, yep. So now first let's remove the clothing. So let's pick this lasso tool and let's uh, hold down Control for minus. Let's click here and now click here. And just to test, we're gonna click here and here and press enter. And as you can see, the selection got removed from the selection we made previously. So I'm gonna, again, click control, click once, and now I can just click without having to hold down control. I'm using control mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Actually, I'm gonna press tab to remove the UI. By the way, I use middle mouse button click and drag to move around the image. And these tools allow me to easily see everything and go everywhere. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same with his head over here. Minus, hold down, click. And I'm just gonna carefully click along his uh, bold head. Click, 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 click and enter. Okay, looking good, there's no problem here. And now we got the problem zone of his beard. We're gonna take care of that in a second. But now, Let's enable the UI with tab again. I'm gonna right click on this. Make sure it has alpha channel, add alpha channel here. And I'm just gonna hit the delete key. Now it is time to test whether this looks good with a different colored background. So I'm gonna select nothing. For that I usually click the rectangle select and click outside the image. I could also go to select none, control shift A. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm just gonna right click here in the layers and create a new layer. I just confirm immediately. And now I drag it below the picture and I'm just gonna hit control comma to fill it with the foreground color which is black and background is white. Okay, this looks good. This looks really good. There's a little white glow but I like that actually and the beard doesn't... only if I zoom in it bothers me. I actually can work with this but we're gonna take care of the beard nonetheless in a second. If I press control dot or full stop, then we don't have a problem because the original image was white background. All right, so we're gonna go back to black and we're gonna click on this layer and I'm gonna use the lasso select or free select tool again. And over here, I'm gonna select just the beard, wherever the beard has white background actually. Now with a white beard, this might be a real problem and some of his hairs are white here, so it's not gonna be perfect by no means, but we're gonna be able to handle most of it. So enter, selection is done. Now I'm going to go to right-click, Colors, and Color to Alpha. I actually set this to Alt-A. And now we can see that this is pretty much gone. Let's see, maybe we play around with the Opacity Threshold. Yeah, let's uh, change that a little because otherwise all of his hair is gone. I think this is good, like 0.5 approximately. And. Yeah, we can play around with the transparency threshold as well. Yeah, is there is there a good balance? No, opacity threshold should definitely be higher than the transparency threshold. 
I think this is good. Alright, so from afar this looks perfect, from close up it looks a bit weird, but much better than that pixelated mess we just had. I'm gonna also erase some of his stray hair, so let's see, the eraser tool. Shift E is here, the eraser tool. So I'm just gonna take off some of it here. I'm just gonna click here, hold down Shift, and then it lets me draw a straight line. Alright, that looks good. I'm gonna remove that as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna actually use a smaller brush here and give some irregularity to this, actually. If it's too smooth, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Okay, this is better. And there are some stray pixels here. I'm gonna remove them as well. So you can see it's a lot of work, but once it's done, it's done. Alright. Yeah, this looks good. Now this works with all kinds of backgrounds. And just look how happy it is. Now let's go even further. Let's find a background where it doesn't work that great. And maybe you just don't like this white glow. Alright, how about this? Let's just try with this. Let's accept this gradient background. What we're gonna try now is we're gonna try to remove this white glow. So for that, let's click on the layer with the guy. Let's use the fuzzy select tool again. And the threshold will be zero again. And we're just gonna click in the transparent area. And if there are multiple transparent areas, like for example, if we had a whole body and we had space between his legs, you would just shift click between his legs and then that transparent area would also be selected. Anyways, we have this selection now. And now we're gonna grow it. We're gonna right click, select, grow. And now you have to be careful. Based on the resolution of the image, you might want to grow by two, one, three, four pixels. I think this is two pixels, maybe, maybe three. No, two is perfect. So now we selected some of his skin. This might be actually too much here. And uh, well, these kind of situations are a problem. You might want to add this manually. But we're just gonna go, oh, this is a problem here for sure. Oof. Well, I'm taking the time. Yeah, I think it's good enough apart from that. Let's see, did we miss anything? No, I think it's fine. His ears are good. Yeah. All right, so now we can try different things. We could, for example, try filter, blur, Gaussian blur. If we set this to about five, well, now he's getting a glow. Check this out. Is this what you want? This is actually an effect you might want. It's, I think, what many people use to save time, and it has an extra feel to it. He's uh, in the foreground because of his weird glow. Feels a bit holy. But instead, let's also try another thing. Let's go to colors, color to alpha. Let's try to make white transparent again, but let's try to make it not very rough. We're gonna play around with transparent, nah, not with transparency threshold, just with opacity threshold. I think setting that to about 0.6 is good. And now on top of that, we could add a little filter blur, Gaussian blur, and definitely less than that. Maybe zero, maybe one. Let's do one pixel. Okay, can we control alt a? No, control shift a. All right, now we just selected everything. And this has a bit of a rough edge, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think, oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this. If you zoom in real close, you still see this weird edge. But at this resolution, it's just fabulous. Thumbs up from him to me. I'm pretty sure that is not his hand, by the way. Probably from a different clip art, so weird. Anyways, I hope this helped. Give this video a like if it did. Let me know in the comments if you have any other troubles with photo editing. Most of my tutorials are based on people asking me questions in the comments, so I very much appreciate it when you ask something. Please subscribe to support this channel and see my next tutorial first. Make sure to enable notifications. And I will see you next time, I hope. Until then, ciao!